Surfing is Southern California. It's how we play, how we express our culture, our fashion. It's a way of life that is unique to us. But Southern Californians didn't invent the sport. Let me take you back, way back, to where surfing began. So you have this tradition in Africa going back at least 800 years of, of people in Western Africa, um, from Senegal down to Angola, um, surfing. Um, either laying down, kneeling down, or standing up. West Africans using hollowed out logs and other materials to surf the waves of their homeland, eventually spreading the sport of kings and queens to lands both distant and exotic. Professor Kevin Dawson of the University of Merced is a historian and a surfer. We do have evidence of enslaved people taken first to the islands off of Africa, to Sao Tome, Principe, um, and the Cape Verde Islands. It was the early 1900s when surfing hit the beaches of Santa Monica. In 1912, Willa and Charles Bruce bought a small piece of land in Manhattan Beach for $1,200. It would become known as Bruce's Beach. It was right on the Strand. Finally, a place for black families to enjoy the surf and sand in Southern California. It was a place that was successful for uh, almost 20 years. Allison Rose Jeffries wrote the book on Southern California black history. She's chronicled the brutal injustice of the eventual demise of Bruce's Beach and black surfing. And they were able, with some harassment by the Ku Klux Klan, to push African Americans out. These were brutal times for local blacks, but the wave would eventually break. A black surfer named Nick Gabaldon would be the first to blend in with white surfers at the famous point break of Malibu's Surfrider Beach. Gabaldon shredded the world-class right. The white surfers were in awe. Even though he was of black and Mexican descent, um, he was respected. The surfing skills of Gabaldon honed at Malibu would make him a legend, but the racism and roadblocks he faced to get in the water there was an injustice. Surfers at that time uh, in the 1950s uh, welcomed him, but he wasn't allowed to actually go into Malibu. I think it's important for us to share this story in places like Compton, you know, and just inspire generations of, of African Americans. David Mesfin was born in Ethiopia, came to Southern California as a kid. His fascination with surfing led him to make a documentary called Wade in the Water. That really put a lens around like what it is to be a black surfer and just making it easy, I think, for people of our community to go out in the water. David's film is visually stunning and it teaches us the rights and wrongs of a sport that can bring its rider as close to mother nature as is humanly possible. But mostly it reminds all surfers, white or black, that we are custodians and members of a very exclusive club. As African Americans, we come from west coast of Africa, which is rich in aquatic culture. So it is part of your culture and you have to embrace it. As you've just learned, surfing is rich in history and it'll only continue to get richer, making our ancestors proud of what they've given us. Reporting from Manhattan Beach, I'm Kai Goldberg, KTLA 5 News.